This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by Purple. Go to purple.com slash rogue and get 10% off your purchase of $200 or more. Or more. That's the important part. If you do $200 million, that's that's like 20, 20, 20 million? 20, 20 million. You save $20 million. You're welcome. That's I'm gonna, a lot of money. I'm going to check the math, but he's, yeah. he's right. I saw Brewster's millions. We are at Still Austin, a local distillery right here in Austin, Texas. We just found out to my amazement that whiskey and gin are basically kissing cousins. They're siblings that went off to different finishing schools. And now we're in the tasting room. And I have to assume if you go through all the effort of creating your own brand of gin, when you get to this experience, yes, I'm sure some people want to taste it neat, but gin strikes me as much more often being used in cocktails of various varieties. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Definitely. So do you have a particular favorite cocktail that you like to put together for somebody who's maybe a gin noob that just went through the experience. Totally. We like to play around with original cocktails here, but at the same time, we like to reintroduce some of the classics. So one of our house favorites we like to do here is called the Bee's Knees. The Bee's Knees kind of has a fun little history. It goes way back to Prohibition era America. People were making bathtub gin, right? Stuff's a little bit harsh. So they kind of had to find a way to make this stuff a little more drinkable. They so started this, this is one where we're actively trying to hide the gin profile. Exactly. Exactly. So they started adding honey and they started adding lemon to it to make it a little more drinkable and started making their own cocktails and they came up with the bee's knees. Obviously, gin tastes a little bit better these days, but the recipe is stuck and it's remained a classic ever since. Dude, let's dive in. Take me all through right. it. So the way we do ours here, the cool thing about the bee's knees, first of all, it's a fun one to make at home because one, it's incredibly delicious, but it's super easy to make. It's got three ingredients. All you need is your gin, some honey simple syrup, uh, and lemon juice, right? Now, honey simple syrup would be different from off-the-shelf honey in what way? The main problem with adding honey itself to cocktails is that it doesn't do well uh, in cold liquids. It tends to clump up, doesn't stir well, doesn't mix into the cocktail. So what we do is we add a one-to-one -one ratio of honey uh, and water. We throw it on a stove, we heat it up so that the honey kind of dissolves. That way it's easier to blend into the cocktail. So that's also really easy to make at home too for anybody that's planning on making one uh, right in their kitchen. Got it. Uh, their honey simple syrup is very easy to make. And what was the third one? Fresh lemon juice. Oh yeah, no, I, this sounds so easy, even a Brian could do it. <laughs> Absolutely, man. So what we're gonna do, we'd like to add a little bit of ice to a shaker tin. We are going to add about an ounce and a half of our gin. If you've got a little measuring cup like this, are, are there ideal. different categories of gin? Like, let's say somebody can't get their hands on Still Austin brand. What category do you guys describe it as? Oh, well, this is gonna be a Texas rye gin. And so the cool thing about this one, obviously, as I think you all discussed, was the fact that it has a rye whiskey base. Yeah. You know? So it is a lot of fun. It makes it particularly good in cocktails. It has a little bit of spice and body to it. So this one's just perfect for, especially what we're making right here, you know? Cool. So we've already added our gin. We're gonna add about a half ounce of fresh lemon juice. Throw that right in there. And then we're gonna take our honey simple syrup and we're gonna add one ounce of that. I throw that right in there. So boom, you've got your three ingredients. Then we're just gonna kind of shake it about a little bit. Get it nice and chilled. So I know that the longer you shake it, the more you're gonna get that dilution in there. Exactly, you don't wanna shake it too, too much because yeah, you don't wanna water it down too much. The idea is just to chill it enough that it's enjoyable, but I try to avoid watering it down too much got as it, well. Got it. So a good probably seven to 10 second shake is always a good range, I think. All right, we're gonna take our glass here, gonna add ice to our glass. We're gonna take our shaken ingredients. We're gonna pour it over our ice. That looks fantastic. It really is a very tasty one. We're gonna add a little lemon wheel like that and you've got your bee's knees. Man, I feel like that went the wrong direction. Hold on, yeah. <laughs> let, let, me, let me fix things here. There right. you go. Yeah. <laughs> so on, on the nose, you could definitely detect that, yep, hello, it's me, Jin, your mm -hmm. old friend. Totally. The upfront is is very, you get that sugar, that initial mm -hmm. sugar rush. I don't know, then you get kind of a, a slow wave of like, uh, oh, hey, it's gin. I remember we introduced ourselves at the beginning here. This definitely. is fantastic. Okay, so if I follow correctly, 
You need an ounce and a half of hopefully still Austin brand gin, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, absent that, a uh, high ride Texas gin, one ounce of honey, simple syrup, honey which simple is basically syrup, yeah. take honey and equal parts water, make sure to boil it a little bit so that it gets all the way saturated exactly. in there, and a half ounce of fresh lemon juice, uh -huh. garnish with the lemon, and you have a bee's knees. Exactly. Dude, that's great. Thank you guys so much. And where can people go to follow all ordered folks? If go? you follow us on our social media pages, we always like to introduce some of our favorites on there. We'll normally add a little recipe below in the comment section so that people can see what we're serving up here at the distillery. Kind of give them ideas of what to make at home as well. Chris, Chris, can't thank you guys enough. What an absolutely. adventure this has yeah. been. <laughs> Thanks what? for being here. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for coming to visit us. I want to be very clear, I'm nothing but happy that Purple is supporting our show. Yeah. I am nothing but happy to finally be experiencing whatever the grid is and whatever magic with Purple mattresses is happening, but I have been hearing about it nonstop from everybody in my family. Really? They, yes, they, they're constantly talking about, I want a Purple mattress. I'm like, you've never seen one. And they're like, but they're awesome. And I was like, how do you even know? You're they like- They clutch your arm and break. Brian, the grid. Yes, the grid. yes, yes. Oh. This will be our unboxing. <gasps> this is our moment. This is the pillow. Yes. So they make mattresses and pillows. Says here, congrats, you've just upgraded. Ooh, that's, it, are you okay? No, Can it, it shock you? No, just touch. Oh, right? That feels. It feels like advanced technology yeah. that breathes. It's not doing the memory foam thing. Yeah. It's not doing the bundled up pile of dirty t-shirts thing that I often sleep on. I'm gonna bet that officially we're not able to claim that the vision sleeps on this pillow, <laughs> but it is hexagonal. If androids required sleep. Uh, and they dream of electric sheep. That's right. They definitely sleep on a grid. Uh, I'm gonna lay down on yours. Uh, Here we okay. go. Just, I need every word. Okay. Oh, just the right amount of resistance. There's air that flows through the grid. Yes. It doesn't get caught in there. It doesn't turn into this. It breathes. Boiling. It breathes, yeah. Yeah. And it's not like, I thought maybe the grid would fart. It's not farting. Uh, okay, man, that took a weird left turn. It's, I mean, if you squeeze it, I thought if there's air. Here's no, what no, I do know is that, that if you go to purple.com slash rogue, you can get 10% off any order of $200 or more, whether that's on <laughs> pillows or the actual mattress. Oh my God, now I understand. Dude, it's oh, good. My family's gonna lose their mind. I mean, 100% risk-free, money-back guarantee. It, it looks like it's from the future. I... Purple.com slash rogue. I'm just gonna cozy up. Yep. Okay. Mm. Purple.com uh, slash rogue, 10% off an order of $200 mm. or, more. Or, more, or more. It's good, right? Yeah. It's pretty good. It breathes. Yeah, it feels nice. Offer and link in the description below. Cool, cool, cool. How did I sound? I was uh, nervous. Oh, great. No, yeah? you, okay. you, you did not sound or look <laughs> nervous at all. Also, I forgot to mention that the edit is magic, man. There have been so I'm many glad. times that I just thought, well, this would be a disaster. And then the <laughs> edit, I'm like, this is great. Perfect. So, uh, okay, great.